Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review, where on this video, we're checking out a new Sigmon CD60 laser distance meter. But this isn't just a typical laser distance meter. In fact, instead, this is a bi-directional. That's right, it's got a two-way laser. It also is a rechargeable setup, so no batteries needed. And it should have some other cool features like a level inside and should make for some pretty quick work of measuring distances. Now, if you've checked out other videos on my channel, you'll see uh, that I've got a fair bit of experience with these laser meters and some are good, some could use some improvement and we'll see just how this one is. Now on first blush, uh, this is gonna be cool. This is actually made out of metal more industrial looking rather than rugged, but we'll test that out in the video. It does come with its own USB-C plug to regular USB. And then you do have, well, that's right, an owner's manual. Now this device, as I said, is a metal body. It's got fairly large buttons. It does have this uh, nice protective film on uh, the front and the back. I'm not gonna take that off just yet. Maybe never, it's kinda nice. Keep it in good shape, it'll get too beat up. It's coming off. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and see if this turns on. So we've pressed that button, and uh, yeah, already it is coming to life. If you take a look in that top left, you're going to see the uh, inclinometer. So that goes back and forth. You also have your bubble level. That's cool. Uh, another one of these that I have only has the inclinometer for the angle. It does not have a bubble level. And this does do the auto rotate. Nice touch. Nice touch that your uh, strap comes pre-installed on it too. And it looks like on the top, we do have our uh, power meter. So you can see how much battery is on there right underneath the CD60 logo for uh, the model number. But let's try out a few of these different buttons. So if I press this one, what do we go? Well, we're changing what direction our laser meter is going in. So right now it's bi-directional. Now it's just going to go down, going to go up, and then a distance from here forward. Well, that is really cool. So check that out. I'm going to play with this. So bi-directional. Now it's from the top of the device down. See how it's changing that? It's going to be bottom of the device up and then top of the device up. That is a really cool feature. Most of the time, what you would do is if this was, say, your wall, you would butt it right up against. You'd hit the button to find the distance, and it would measure from the back. But this is kind of a cool feature to go from the front. Maybe you'd be using this uh, edging up to something and really wanting to see exactly from the back side just how far something is from it. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm also noticing on the back, Huh, it's magnetic. Check this out. That's really neat. So you could hang this up, uh, maybe on a corner bead, whatever you might need, uh, and be able to use it as uh, that angle, angle finder. Wow, really cool. Well, anyways, so what else do we have here? We've got a few different uh, measurements. Looks like uh, we can add or subtract from what we were doing before. Function, we've got our distance, square footage. You have a few different triangular versions, such as your distance on an angle up to the corner of a wall, or if you go over, you can get the height of a wall based on angle. I'll show you that. That's always a very cool feature that these do. Uh, angle finder, and then back to our distance meter. And if I wanna go ahead and change this from meters to inches, feet, what have you. Let me show you the different settings we have. This is actually fairly neat. So if I press and hold both down, uh, it drops it down to 1.9 meters. Press and hold, now we're at 75 inches. Press and hold those two, 75 inches and one quarter. Six foot three and one quarter. Six foot 2.8 feet. And then we're back to the 1.92 meters, and then it truncates it by just one decimal. Wow, that is really cool. 
Now, on almost all my other uh, meters, it really just shows you a measurement like this, 6.28 feet, whereas when you press both of these together uh, and we go back through 75.2 inches, 75 and a quarter, and this is my favorite, especially if you're going to go then take it straight to a tape measure, having six foot three inches and a quarter is way better than 6.28 because who the heck knows what 6.28 is. Man, I wish I had had this when I was doing some recessed lighting recently. It would have made all of the conversions so, so much easier. Well, now that we've taken a look at these, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this device and measure a few different things. All right, and here is the Sigmund out into uh, the workplace. I'm working on a project downstairs in this basement, and I want to be able to show you some of the features of what this does. The first thing I want to call out is, of course, the degrees up top. We did talk about all of that stuff downstairs, but this is how it's actually going to work in the real world. So if I take this device and I want to be able to measure a distance, you'll see the laser comes up on both sides. And I'm just going to measure from side to side, press and hold. And so the width of this room, going to come in and measure at 13 feet, 2 inches. Now, that also gives you from side to side either the 7 foot 2 going the direction forward or aft 5 foot 11. You get the 5 eighths, 7 eighths. And remember, we can adjust what the unit is that we're looking at. Now, also, let me just go to looking forward. I'm going to now use the device and let's just see how far away the smoke detector is from where I'm standing. Well, that's eight foot seven inches. Now going on to checking out the angle of the building, this is where it's gonna be really neat is I can adjust over to this function and that's going to let me know the height. So if I go up to here, that's where I want it to be. But instead to make this happen, all I wanna do to know the height is basically angle it up and down. And just like that, gives me nine foot 11 inches by using the angle of the device and your dual laser setup to measure down, measure up, and the Pythagorean theory knocks out, based on a triangle, what the height would be. And so to get square footage with it, you can use our U button to either go from the back, the forward, or the full width. So it's going to be dual mode in this case. So if I turn that on, we're going to have a laser on both sides. And let's go ahead, pull the width there. So the width of the room is 10 foot 9 inches. And let's do the length of the room. And that's going to come in at 23 feet all to say we've got 255 square feet in this particular room. Now, there's a lot of other functions that you may end up using based on your needs, but these are my most common features to use with a device like the Sigmund CD60. And maybe one of my favorite features is the fact that it's magnetic. Well, go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this Sigmund C60 laser measuring device. It's a pretty cool device with a lot of functions. And if you're anything like me, something like this will have a great opportunity to be super useful uh, for all sorts of projects. Not to mention USB rechargeable and pretty affordable using the link that I've provided down in the description below.